What's going on, everybody? Welcome into TB Sports 27, and we are going to officially wrap up season one of what we were doing with arena football. So, a little background of the story here: we had previously been playing arena football on the PS2. I never owned a PS2, but I bought a cheap PS2 off of eBay, bought a memory card, and bought arena football. Road to Glory, or what is this called? Arena Football, Road to the Show, something like that. It's the second Arena Football game. They never came out with the second Arena Football game on any other system. It only came out on PlayStation 2. I was an Xbox guy before I switched back to PlayStation. So I only had the original Arena Football. I wanted to see this game. I wanted to see Arena Football, Road to Glory here. And there's really not much of a difference, to be quite honest with you, other than the fact that Kansas City actually has a team name in this game and the fact that the New Orleans Voodoo are a regular team in this game. That's the only difference. You get an extra team in season mode. You get a couple uniform changes. You get the AF2 teams, but you can't play with them within the AFL season. They're part of a separate season mode. And overall, the PS2 that I bought off of eBay, it's just... It's not in great shape. The disk drive starts making a lot of noise if you play it for 10 to 15 minutes. Just trying to get this to boot up took about three different attempts where the game wouldn't lock up. I'm just going to play the Xbox version of the game, which is the first version of the game. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. We were playing with the Kansas City Brigade here in the PlayStation version of Arena Football, but I want to make sure, like, I'm eventually going to give you guys an ending with NBA Playgrounds at some point. I wanted to make sure I gave you guys an ending here. So what we're going to do, we're going to simulate through the rest of the regular season. We're going to go through the playoffs, and we're going to see who would have been the champion. The storyline that we're going to go with, much like what happens with a lot of indoor football teams, not just Arena Football, but the Indoor Football League, most recently the Louisville Extreme, had this issue that depending on who the owners are, a lot of the times the teams run out of money, the owners are bad people, team goes out of business. That happens a lot during the end of the original AFL days. You saw a lot of that. You saw a lot of teams didn't even finish the season. They folded. That's just going to happen to the team we were coaching. We are coaching the Kansas City Brigade, and they've gone out of business. They've lost all their money. So we're going to quote-unquote have kind of a team because we have to continue to have games, but we're going to have a team of scrub players that are going to go at it. So we'll see what would have happened here. But we're going to give you guys an ending. We're going to simulate through and, and let you know what would have finished it out. We were at 5-2 and two when we finished off our season here, and we are going to jump to it. Like I said, we are... Um, wait, did I load the... Why was that clicked? For a second, I thought I loaded the wrong file, but no, that's right, because it's the brigade. I must have just clicked the button to, to select that one. So can we? Yes, we're going to simulate the season here. We're going to give you all the standings, and then we're going to go through the playoff one by one, and that's going to kind of wrap this up. So this one is going to be exclusive. We're going to throw this up on our Patreon page early before it comes out, months before it comes out. It's going to go up on YouTube, so you guys are either watching on Patreon or YouTube. You can see the scores right there. If you want to look at them more in depth, just pause and rewind and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go through every single score, but you can kind of see how the season would have played out had we have finished it, and then we'll go through the playoffs one by one, and we'll see what the Arena Bowl team is going to be. Coming up right after this, and for those of you that are watching this, you obviously uh, wouldn't be tuning in because it's going to come out later on. But we're going to go on to Twitch and we're going to kick off Arena Football on the Xbox. We're also going to do some WWE 2K22 action as well. So let's see how the season would have finished out. Uh, actually, let's look at our brigade and you can see that uh, we actually kind of fell apart a little bit. Where do we go at the beginning of the season here? I'm trying to remember some of these. These early games, from points. I honestly don't even remember having this uh, this winning streak here, where we did win a bunch of games down the stretch. I thought we were a lot worse off than what we actually were, but I suppose not. So actually, after we kind of quote unquote went to the scrub players, we ended up winning a couple of games. But this is where reality set in, and this is probably where the owners started pulling the money. 
because we started coming out with some losses, but then we pulled it together, but we ended the season in a rough way. Finished nine and seven overall as the record. Did we make the postseason? Arena football, how did they do it? Did they, oh, did this game just, no, did the game just freeze? Okay, that we froze, okay. How does arena, okay, so it's the top four, it looks like from each side that they did. So on the American side, we had the Grand Rapids Rampage, the LA Avengers, the Sabercats, and the Rush are going to beat out their brigade probably because we ran out of money. So there you go. So even if we had finished off the season here, you wouldn't have seen any postseason action. The Cats at 8-8, eight and eight, the Rattlers at 8-8, eight and eight, the Crush 7-9, and nine, Blaze finish 6-10, and 10, the Gladiators of Las Vegas Finished 3 and 13 on the national side. It's the New Orleans Voodoo. And we're actually going to add them into our arena football. We're going to replace the Kansas City KC. And we're going to add, I'm, I think I'm going to make them the Louisiana Voodoo since that's the team that's going to be in real life. I have to play around with the uniforms a little bit. But the Voodoo, the Destroyers, the Force, and the Dragons. While the Soul 8 and 8, the Wranglers, the Storm, usually a, a top team, finish at Six and ten, the Desperados, five and eleven, and the Predators. A lot of the dominant arena football teams finished with some not so good records here. So now we're going to go through the postseason, and we're going to give you guys an arena football champ before we kick off the new season over on the Xbox. So the divisional round, let's go through it. Let's let's go game by game. We'll simulate it up here, and it's a blowout. The Rampage. Uh, well, the let's look at the box score. Who is the Rampage quarterback? Because you can see how how fidgety this game is. Do we got stats? Oh God! I go all the way down here to see the stats. Tony Graziani. I guess that would make sense, right? That he would be he would be the main, main guy. Bob McMillan, who's the cover athlete as well, would also make sense that that this team would be so dominant. So the Rampage moving on in the next round here. We will simulate through and the Voodoo knock off the New York Dragons. Sabercats and Avengers West Coast low scoring game for Arena Football and the Sabercats who are known for winning a lot of titles. They will move on and the Force and the Destroyers and it is the Georgia Force which was the team we were coaching previously. If you're watching this one on Patreon then our entire Georgia Force playthrough from our Xbox is up here from our old YouTube channel. So do check that one out. So there you go. Now we know the conference semifinals. And these are all teams other than the Voodoo that have played in Arena Bowls before. The Sabercats have been there multiple times. The Grand Rapids Rampage been there once. A victory over the Nashville Cats. The Force have been there once, and they came up on the losing end of things to the Colorado Crush and the New Orleans Voodoo, who have never been there before. So now we're going to see on the American side who is going to the Arena Bowl, and it is going to be by two points, of course, the San Jose Sabercats. And I'm pretty sure that in our Georgia Force series, our first Arena Bowl was Sabercat Storm. So... The Sabercats just winning everything. I don't remember who won the second time around because I don't know if we have that episode. But uh, on the Sabercats side, let's see, who are they quarterbacked by? Andy Kelly. Andy Kelly, of course. And Tony Graziani. It looks like he was either knocked out of the game or benched or something because it was Chris Greason that went the rest of the way here. But it was a two-point victory, and Andy Kelly knocking off Tony Graziani, so the Sabercats head on, and who are they going to play? Simulate forward, and the Arena Bowl is set. It's the Georgia Force. That's, that seems very fitting that, that my old team that I coached and the San Jose Sabercats, who won titles like crazy, would be going on. Uh, let's look at a quick box score here so you can see what we got to expect. I'd like to see who was on either side. We're going to do the fantasy draft over again. Matt Sock with Georgia and Aaron Garcia, quarterback of the New Orleans Voodoo. So we're going to bring the Voodoo back. They're going to be in the mix. So the Arena Bowl here, um, we are going to simulate. I don't, I don't think you guys really want to see it. Maybe... Uh, maybe we check out like a play or two or something 
of the arena bowl let's do it let's just check out let's check it uh, we'll see can we simulate to the end if we can simulate to the end of the game maybe we'll we'll chill and watch a quarter with you guys while this is loading it's going to take some time to load if you want to check out the arena football season we're kicking off over on the xbox Follow along with us on Twitch. We're going to go live on Twitch. Everything will be uploaded early and ad-free on Patreon. And, of course, it'll be uploaded to YouTube later on, probably when the actual arena football season is coming back. Quick shout-out to our Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for your continued support on TV Sports 27. This is going to be going up on our Patreon page here. And here's a look. This is actually interesting because this is the Arena Bowl taking place in New Orleans, where in the Xbox version, it's going to be the Arena Bowl in Las Vegas. So it's going to look completely different. So a little bit of a different feel here. But here comes the Georgia Force as they walk out onto the field. And they're looking to win a title. Matt Nagy was our quarterback when we were coaching them. Of course, like we said that first, I don't know if we're pretending like we're continuing on from our our last series. The Sabercat Storm, and then, like I said, I don't remember who won it the second year around. Is that, is, I'll have to check and see if that's on camera or not. I feel like it's not, but I could be wrong on that one. But Force Sabercats, and we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll let you see like a couple of plays here. There it is, the Arena Bowl Championship Force Sabercats. Oh yeah, look at the pyro. Let me see. Is there a way to simulate forward? There does not appear to be. So like I said, I'm gonna let you watch like a couple of plays here and then we'll simulate to the end and see who would have won it all. So you guys at least get that ending to what would have been our franchise with the San Jose, well San Jose Sabercats here, but with the Kansas City Brigade. So let's take a look at it. Kick off. I think the game looks a lot better on Xbox too. It, it just does not look quite quite as crisp on PlayStation. Like the, the the lines and the colors on the field. And I'm using an HDMI converter plugged into the back of the PS2. But we'll see what happens here. I'll let you look at a couple of Georgia Force plays. Then we're going to get the ending to you. We'll wrap this one up. And then I'm going to see you guys over on Twitch because we are going to be streaming the first game live. Then we're going to do some WWE Universe mode. And if you guys are taking a look at this on our Patreon page, I'll drop it for everybody. I'll do it as an early and, and, and everybody can get this kind of video thing. But uh, you guys will get the Patreon video as well as we're seeing quick passes. Coming up here by the Georgia Force. See if the Force, can they get some points on the board? Oh, and the, I don't know if you can hear it. The PlayStation 2 starting to crank up. It's, it does that like once you've been playing for a little bit. So. Oh, what a throw. Okay, let's see if we get some points out of this, and then we'll then we'll end it here. Who do we say uh, quarterback for the force was again? Sock or somebody? <laughs> Mike Sock. First and goal. Ball on the seven we'll, we'll look at the, the stats and everything, too. We're going to see if this comes with a touchdown. As Georgia Force, they're closing in. Pitching to the outside. Touchdown force. So quick score for the Georgia Force. And we'll see. Can they, will they continue this and will they go on to win what would be their first arena football championship? Let's look real quick. While this is loading, I'm going to look on Patreon right now and see, did we... All right, I, uh, I checked real quick to see if the results of Season 2 of Arena Football is on Patreon. It's not. I only have up until Week 8. I've put it out there. If anyone has that extra footage, let me know because I only have so many video files that got saved before it was uh, wiped out and deleted in the great YouTube purge. So we don't know. Maybe maybe we say in season two, Arena Football went out of business. But season one, it was the Tampa Bay Storm knocking off the San Jose Sabercats 37-27. So for pretending that's season one, this would be 
a season two, I suppose. Let's simulate it. We're gonna see Sabercats, and it is the Sabercats knocking off the Georgia Force. So there you go. San Jose Sabercats and company, and they had to have a huge second half. Look at the second half dominance by the San Jose Sabercats. So 44-32, bouncing back from their defeat. Andy Kelly goes for almost 300 yards, five touchdowns. There you can see the stats. So that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up here. We are now going to power on the Xbox version of the game, and we're going to see what team we're going to be. We're going to fantasy draft style. So the San Jose Sabercats winning another arena football championship. Thanks for tuning in, guys. What number is that for the Sabercats, right? Let's see. We got time. Let's look it up. San Jose Sabercats. So we gave the Tampa Bay Storm six if we said they won off of that season. We'll just say season two. Arena football went out of business. This was the comeback season. San Jose had won four league championships, 02, 04, 07, and 2015. Now they've won their fifth. So there you go. San Jose, Tampa Bay, the class of the league. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. TB Sports 27, San Jose, your arena football champions. Now we kick off another season over with the Xbox.